Let's go over some basic probabilistic terms and concepts. First, an experiment is a situation that leads to results that we call outcomes. Outcomes are the results which may occur from any experiment, but an outcome might also occur as a result of some other process that involves uncertainty, some of one of our probabil probabilistic processes. An event is a collection of one or more outcomes from an experiment. And probability is defined as the measure of how likely an event is to occur. So the probability of an event that we'll call A is simply the number of ways an event A can occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes. When we express probability in this way, we call it the relative frequency, or this is the relative frequency method for determining the probability of an event. Let's build the relative frequency, the relative frequencies of the different outcomes of rolling a six-sided die. So in the first example, we want to know the probability of rolling a one. Well, if we roll a die, how many outcomes associated with that die roll satisfy the event of a one being rolled? I would argue that there's only one way that you can roll a die and receive a one. And therefore, we put a one on the numerator of this fraction. How many total possible outcomes could we have had when we rolled the die. We could have had six different outcomes. We could have rolled a one, two, three, four, five, or six. And therefore, the probability of obtaining a one is just the number of ways we could roll a one, which is one, divided by the total number of ways the die could have been rolled, which is six. And the same is true for the probabilities of rolling any of the individual numbers. But let's look at the probability of rolling an odd number. How many ways can we roll an odd number when we roll a die? Well, the odd outcomes are rolling a one, a three, or a five. So there are three possible ways of rolling an odd number. So we have three over six as the probability of rolling an odd, or about 50%. Half the time we would expect to roll a, a, an odd number. Similarly, for even, we have three possible ways to roll an even number, a two, a four, and a six, and therefore, 50% of the time, or three-sixths of the time, we would expect to see an even number being rolled. Now, probability can be expressed either as a relative frequency, like a ratio, as we've seen before, one out of six, or three out of six, but this is the same thing as expressing the, the probability as a decimal or a percent. In order to move from a relative frequency to a, de to a decimal, we simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So to move from 1 sixth to 0.167, we would calculate in our calculator 1 divided by 6. To move from a decimal to a percent, we would then take our decimal and multiply it by 100 in order to get the percentage, uh, to, in order to express the probability as a percentage. So in this case, we have 0 0.167 times 100. In order to multiply by 100, we're going to move the decimal place twice. We end up with 16.7. And don't forget to put the percent sign if we're trying to express this as a percent. The maximum probability for any outcome is always 100%. The minimum probability for any outcome is always zero. In other words, you can never expect to see an outcome with more than a 100% probability or less than a 0% chance. And most outcomes, then, have, prob have probabilities in the range between zero and one. The complement of an outcome A is the set of all outcomes minus outcome A. So when we roll a die, the set of all outcomes is rolling a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. In which case, the complement of rolling a 1 is just this, this set of all outcomes after you remove the 1 from it. So now we've got the complement of rolling a 1 to be a 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. 
the complement of rolling an even is the remainder of all the different outcomes after we remove the even ones. So it's the same thing as rolling an odd. Or the complement of rolling a two or three is equal to the set of all outcomes after removing two and three. One, four, five, and six. Something to keep in mind is that the probability of an outcome plus the probability of its complement is always equal to one. So the probability of A plus the probability of the complement of A, which we'll express in this case in probability notation with, with the event with a bar on top of it, well, the sum of the probability of A plus the probability of the complement of A will always equal one. Let's look at the case o over here. The probability of rolling a one in this case was one out of six. And the probability of rolling a two, three, four, five, or six, well, there's five ways of getting that outcome. And there's six total things. So the probability of A plus the probability of A complement equals one.